into the finish area. In ski racing, even dominant racers like Michaela Schifrin can have bad days. Oh, no. You have got to be kidding me. Something the world's watching at the 2022 Olympics, where Michaela has raced twice. Shocker, right off the bat. And twice skied off course in events many thought she should meddle in. Sometimes it's a lot to live up to, but that's also my own fault. Pressure as the game's biggest star and the mental health impacts from the pandemic protocols. We're thinking about travel time and how hard it might be to get in and out of the villages. We're already concerns with psychologists at the United States Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Worked on when COVID testing might be and how we could actually uh, kind of schedule that around sleep or understand how it may impact sleep. But Michaela says things rarely feel perfect on race day. It doesn't click that often. And that getting back on track after skiing off course. Either you're tired or you're nervous. Comes down to knowing how to win when everything else is working against you. It doesn't click very often. It's like you just have to know how to perform when things are not clicking. And that's a lot easier said than done. Michaela still has three races that she potentially could compete in at the Olympics, but they're not events that she's typically extremely strong in. So Alex and Kim, she's got a difficult choice to make to see if she stays on track and continues to compete at the Olympics. And we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, so many people rooting for her. We are behind her every step of the way. Yeah, I love what her brother said last night, right? He said, you, you've already, you've shown everybody what you have. You've shown the world. You don't need to do any more. Right, she has proven so much over the past 15 years in ski racing and given us so much to cheer about. So she could just retire. She could step away if she wanted to. And everyone's still gonna think she's an amazing ski racer because she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll always know her name and always consider her the best. Still a legend, right. for sure. Thank you, Matt.